It is the day after Dean Furman's wedding, and with a day to spare in the Manchester area, I thought I'd drop in at Old Trafford, and I thought I'd bring a rather well-known United fan with me, because football fans Jeremy Brocky will know he is the star of Sundowns, uh, but this is probably your first footballing love. Yeah, this is, this is um, I've dreamed of this moment since I was a little kid, so now to be able to be here and uh, be in front of the stadium, it's uh, it's amazing. It must have been quite difficult to watch United when you were growing up, given the time difference between New Zealand and the UK. Yeah, normally I'd have to get up three, four o'clock in the morning and, and uh, battle away and, and watch. But when you're when you're younger like that, those things don't matter. And uh, some some fantastic memories. So to come here today, you've played in some great stadiums around the world. You played with and against some terrific players. Uh, but this is a real pilgrimage. Yeah, absolutely. Um, like I said, this is a dream come true, and I've had I've had some wonderful moments playing. The the game but now to be able to be here and, and come and have a look at this amazing iconic stadium uh, really looking forward to it all right well you've given me loads of pleasure watching you as a footballer so let me return the favor i've got some tickets and let's head inside and have awesome. a look looking forward to it the tour took in the full 75,000 seater stadium but first i had a vitally important question for new zealand's only non-rugby player yeah, so all the time favorite united 11. I'm going to go Schmeichel and goal. Yeah. Uh, Gary Neville, Bjarpstam, Vidic, Evra, Beckham, Skulls, Pogba, Ronaldo, Van Nistelrooy, and Andy Cole up front. You'd have no Ryan Geeks in there in Cancer. <laughs> Do you know anything can't, about football? Can't put everyone in. <laughs> After confirming that I did indeed know more about football than the pros, and after a brief rest in the director's box, it was finally time to get out to the Theatre of Dreams. Wow, this is close now. This is the I think this is the closest I'll get to playing. <laughs> Can't believe I'm here. <laughs> it's this dream come true and amazing. Let me just go and sit where I've been sitting for most of this season. <laughs> it's a little bit more comfort than these ones, so it might have been a little bit more enjoyable. <laughs> what a view. This is, this is magical. Oh, this is... You can almost imagine what it, what it would be like to be here on, on game day. 75,000 people filled to, to the top of the stands. It's a bit surreal, really. <laughs> Next up, a quick photo call to set the rumour mill going before a familiar jersey was spotted hanging in the away dressing room. Now, this kind of brings the tone down a bit, doesn't it? No, not at all. Well, it is in the away dressing room, but uh, it's a nice little touch, a nice little surprise. He said there's going to be some jerseys in the visitors' room that have been... Uh, and here when they've come back and played, so it's nice little touch on the All, all Blacks goes in here. He's been the favourite player then? Yeah, Pog was the, the favourite player, the star of the show. Um, gets a lot of crit criticism, but I, I think it's a little bit down to the way that Mourinho uses him. But nice to be uh, sharing the dressing room with Pogba and Sanchez on the other side is not bad either. <laughs> It'd be nice to have the Brocky jersey on sale there. Yeah, surely there's one somewhere in here. No. <laughs> the, the end of the career was, is not too far away around the corner, so uh, might be pushing my luck. But it was always, a, 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 as every kid, you, you, you dream of, of playing for a big club, and um, some, some people achieve those dreams. Some, some get to, to live it by walking through the stadium, so that's how I've lived my dream of Man United. Oh, 